born in 1957 in Kirinyaga district, the second born in a family of eight, Martha Wangari Karua is a woman known for speaking her mind, a stand that has earned her the name Iron Lady. We met with her at her home in Nairobi. I gym here. Oh, okay. And today I didn't because there was no time. I dance for fitness. After a brief icebreaker, she opens up and tells us who Karua is. A regular person doing their job as a people's representative and trying to do it the best way I know how. Yes. Yeah. Put, giving my all. Yes. Yeah. She worked in the judiciary as a district magistrate, rising to a senior resident magistrate, where she was in charge of the Makadara and Kibera law courts, respectively. I resigned my job as a magistrate to practice law so that I could make ends meet for myself and family. And uh, those were the days that uh, Moi and Kanu were affiliating everything on site. They just affiliated um, Kotu. They now had affiliated Maendeleo. And he made a public pronouncement that he wanted to affiliate the Law Society of Kenya. So when Multi Party came, because we were among the very vocal advocates for return to Multi Party politics, it spilled over to politics, to the national politics, and I decided to run. And I'm still getting the job done. It's unfinished business. But beneath the tough political crust, Martha Karoa is a caring mother. She tells us about her family. I'm a mother of two young adults. Yes. My daughter is out working in the Sudan. My son, I just come home from studies and um, is settling down. So he hasn't gotten to a regular job yet. And my children have grown up in the political setting because when I entered politics, my daughter was six, my son was four. So they've grown up in politics. My 18 years in politics, that's when they've grown up. Yes. Yeah, so besides being a politician, I have a family. I enjoy, like every mother, being with my children, being with friends. I'm just a regular person, yeah. <laughs> Away from the political arena, you will mainly find her at the golf course, a game she says she's addicted to. Now I've been trying to get them to play golf with me. They can play, but they haven't taken it, so... Yeah, yeah not as, as much as I do for part-time, for, for, for Leisha. <laughs> <laughs> Her busy schedule entails waking up early, working late, and sometimes traveling around the country. And one wonders how she juggles between politics and family. I try to mix the two. You never can know whether it's right or wrong. It's something you have to do. When my kids were younger, I had no driver. I personally took them to school, picked them to, uh, from school, and if I needed to return to Parliament, I would rush back, uh, taking them out, just like any mother, when they became teenage and they wanted to go out. Sometime taking them out, hanging out in a restaurant waiting for them. I've done all the things all the parents do. I actually learned to swim because I needed to, be, to take my children swimming. I had to swim. How do you go to the pool with them without learning to, to swim? You go to music concerts, you do all the things your kids want to do. Mata Karua Meota Doto Akiwa State House Akitawala Inji. Mama Karua has declared that come 2012, she is in the race for the highest office in the land. A lawyer by profession, Karua is currently undertaking a management training program at the USIU. A program she says will prepare her for the job as the country's chief executive. And she knows just too well the first thing she will change if she becomes the president. The first thing is to instill discipline. We are totally indisciplined people in terms of being unable to follow the rules we make. And in a country, the rules we make are our laws. 
and uh, a reform of our institutions is something that has to be done very, very quickly so that we can be able to um, continue in a civil manner, reforming the police, reforming the judiciary, so that we can be able to have an arbiter that we can trust. Those are the issues. Getting organization-wide transformation, organization-wide change. During the controversial tally of presidential votes at the KICC in 2007, Karua was a one-woman army fighting off the ODM brigade, which was accusing PNU of stealing the election from their candidate, Raila Odinga. At the time, she was famously referred to as the only man in PNU. She was then considered a pro Kibaki hardliner. So why would I step aside for doing well? Excuse me. I will be telling Kenyans that I'm ready, able, and willing to contribute in nation building, just like the government. The former Kibaki ally quit her job as Minister for Constitutional Affairs on the 6th of April 2009, citing frustrations in discharging her duties, a decision she says she ought to have made earlier. I could have resigned that very Thursday. The appointments were made. But I realized I needed to communicate my feelings to my immediate family, to my party members, to my friends. That's what made me wait for Monday. I didn't have a difficulty making the decision. Yeah. Rarely will you catch Martha smiling. So why does she wear such a serious hard face? I like a good laugh just like everybody else. But I'm not going to laugh about people plundering the country. I'm not going to laugh about people being denied basic services that lead sometimes to death. Those are not issues to laugh about. As we wrapped up our interview, we left with mixed feelings. On one side, we know Martha the Iron Lady. And now here is Martha, the caring mother who enjoys life just like anyone else. Michael Njenga, Citizen TV, Nairobi.